Coming up, I'm going to be living one of my childhood dreams. Stick around if you want to see what it is. Today I am up here in Ashland, Pennsylvania, and this is not my first time visiting this uh, location where I'm at. I was actually here probably three years ago with a bunch of my YouTube friends. In fact, it might have been the second YouTube meetup I attended. It was in October or November, and we uh, took a tour of this facility up here. But uh, I am not here today to take a tour. And if you're familiar with this place, you probably already know where I am at and what I'm going to be doing. I am at the Pioneer Coal Mine Tunnel up here in Ashland, and I am here to drive a steam locomotive. This has been a childhood dream of mine to do. Granted, it's not a full big locomotive, but it's still a steam locomotive. I am going to be driving... Uh, their Loki that is here, which was recently repainted and re-lettered to uh, the way it was when it was owned by the Lehigh Coal Company. So this was an event that they were putting on. It was a fundraiser to raise funds for restoring one of the other locomotives that's here, I believe. I believe it's the, the 119 I think they're going to be working on next. So it's either for that one or the funds for the one that I'm going to be driving that they restored. But this was um, a reservation only event. You had to uh, get, in the, get on the list in advance. I think I got on the list back in February. It was only supposed to be, I believe, one day and the first day sold out. So they added the second day. The second day sold out, so it was a third day they added Friday. This is Saturday, so I am in the, the middle of the event here and everything, but the entire event was sold out. So I am excited to uh, finally, in 54 years of waiting, be able to drive a steam locomotive. So let's walk around the thing, and then I'm going to be getting on board and trying my hand at the throttle. This will be good. It should be good over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Make sure while you're walking. Right. Right. We are ready. Have you done this before? Uh, nope. No? I can't say nothing to this size. I drove small four and a half and six inch gauge. Okay, trains, I got you right on. Nothing this big, so. Alright. Okay. So. Quick little run through. Oh, you can hand me those tools right there. Um, that bench is there, it kind of moves. If you want to lean on it, you can. If you don't, just you know, get yep. out of the way. Um, so, this is our 
the Johnson bar. Yep, the Johnson right, bar. So all the way back will be reversed. Yep. All the way forward is forward. Yep. We won't worry about like clicking it up and stuff. This whole or this track has quite a bit of ups and downs, and so you're kind of just gauging what you're doing with the throttle, right? Okay. So you throttle itself. It'll start in gate, like it'll feel pretty tight, and you'll get to about right there, and you'll feel where okay. that dial is going to start picking up. Now, it doesn't take much when you're opening it up that, like, it's letting that steam through, and then it, this this girl likes to get rolling pretty okay. quick, okay? Um, here's your brake, okay. self lapping brake, so this is fully engaged. So that's the sound of it exhausting that you do not, right? Now, when you come to the middle, it's you know there's a spot there where it's just gonna let it sit, say it's lightly on or fully on. You yep. Know? So when you're exhausting it, you wanna make sure it's all over exhausting. Okay, and then you can like throw it to the middle so it doesn't keep just doing that. And when you're putting it on, you wanna make sure that you all push it all the way that way. Okay. And actually feel it. Uh, when we're backing out, we're gonna be going right through the shard here. There's three switches that we're gonna go through, okay. and they're pretty bouncy, those frogs, right? Okay. So we're gonna just kind of just keep the momentum rolling, you know, kind of until we get past that last switch, kind of down around where that cab is. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll just be standing right here, yep. and, you know, let you know, throttle up, throttle down. And, uh, when we get out into the track, I'll tell you like where some of the weird spots are. And, uh, okay. Just always try to keep your eyes, you know, a little forward to see where the hills are starting to go up and down because you want to always like kind of give it momentum into a hill, okay. you know, as opposed to wait until you're on it and then trying to get on the throttle, you know, so you don't get stuck or found up there. Alrighty. Alright, so we're going to start with throwing our Johnson bar all the way in reverse. You're going to have to pull your weight all the way into it. And don't worry, it won't break it. There you go. And you can turn your brake off and blow your whistle is this one. And for reverse, we go three times. Three times. On the whistle, yes sir. start creeping that throttle out and you'll start to feel where it's going to engage. How about a mini shot? And you'll hear it too starting to rush into the cylinder. Right. Right. It's getting tighter. Yeah, right there, there we go. Yeah. Like I said, going through here you can, you know, kind of just work it back and off and on. You know what I mean? Because you don't have to turn it off by going all the way back. Once you've got past that point of or is that position? Yeah. That'll go up. So yeah, you can go down a little bit. Yeah, this is kind of, you're just kind of gauging that how much you're going to roll and stuff because each time is really a different place. Go ahead, we're going to go through these frogs and just bang on through. Don't worry. Bye. 
It's up by the old abandoned, the little mine that you have up there. The little bootleg. Yeah. Yeah, have you been here yeah I've been here. Uh, I was here during the pandemic and took a tour. Okay, right on. Yeah. Now, if you jump off, I can take pictures if you want. If, you know, around the engine, I can show you the mammoths a little bit. Yeah, this is a nice little tight. How many for a stop? I forget. Just one. One single first stop. Beautiful. No boy, no, that seems to be doing great. A shot of water, quick. You want a quick to learn how to run the injector? Sure. If you need a shot of water, so your water is down there. That's your uh, coming from the saddle tank. Yep. We'll turn that on first. Okay, and we're kind of like peeking at it, dumping down there, right? So now yep. we're going to. Um, uh, engage with the steam and it'll start actually pushing pressure. Okay. All right. Once you get that open all the way, we're going to pull this ram, pull it back. Go in a big. Okay, so. So we're dumping a lot of water, right? Yep. So, but this side just dials the water back. It means we have too much water, too steam. So we slowly do the water. You hear that noise, how it sucks yep. up? So now what that's doing is taking the pressure of the boiler itself in the gravity fed water and shooting it out this pipe okay. back into the boiler past the check valve. We're going to have sight glasses right here, so we're just going to give it a little shot. This engine has been, this year anyway, I should say, has been running great with like half a glass, you know, which is like, when you have too much water in it, it's like getting into like really tight, like, right. you know, and your dry pipe, it's like getting all hard to go. So we'll let that run for a quick second. You want to take a step down and, you know, take a piece of magnet for the little, you know, you got to put it on the Yep, start heading up. So when we're going to be heading up to 
like with us sitting on a little bit of a grade, we're gonna let those cylinders fill up slowly when you're on the throttle, just because if uh, you get on it too hard with this hill, it'll spin out on you. Okay. Um, John's going to go all the way forward. forward. Nice. And then it'll be uh, two whistles for uh, forward. There you go. Yep. Yep. Slowly start creeping. There you go. Nice. Once we get that momentum up, we'll keep it steady, coming up out back over the hill. And then right when we get up to the top and you feel that engine starting to go down, we're gonna throttle off because these this little hill here and the two turns make it really whip around us. Okay. So you'll feel that when that engine starts going forward. the hill that we coasted so okay. you're just going to stay on that throttle nice and consistent and, and uh, yeah just let the baby work all the way up the I thought it was going to be raining. Yeah, I thought it was going to be raining yesterday. Was. It was a little miserable yesterday. It was cold. I was wearing my car hard all day. Down, we're gonna throw that throttle right off, right? Okay. And we're gonna turn our brakes on just for a quick second, and you'll feel a bump that's a joint in the rail. That's kind of the signal I know. Then you can release it, that you're down it about halfway. Okay. And then you'll be able to get onto the throttle again just to get out of the gully. All right, throttle down, throttle down, brake. Brake all the way up. Turn. Yep, there you go. And once you hit this bump, boom, there you go. Now you can take it off and get on the throttle again. There you go, now this is where that crossing is, if you want to give your lungs a short and a long.
have that back on a little bit. And where you see that old cab sitting there for the 119? Yep. So that's where that tight turn is leading right into that first switch. Yep. So you'll have to give it, you know, stay on it going through the turn so it doesn't bind you up and stop you. Then you know you got you want to then let it coast once it straightens back out so it can just nicely roll over those switches and frogs. We're just kind of bumping it and just kind of keeping it rolling. Not trying to gain any power. And if you want your balance, the other string up there, you can bring that as we're coming into the yard. All right, then we're aiming to get that front bumper where that yellow line is. Yep. Awesome. Awesome, man. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. out. Thank Glad you. you that it. was great. Like I said, 54 years it took. <laughs> but I, I can cross this off the bucket list. Absolutely. Hey, we're happy to be a part of it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. So there you have it. Me actually driving a steam locomotive. I must say it went uh, fairly good, at least I think in my book. I hope you enjoyed the ride and everything. This is great, a great experience. I believe the cost of this was around $65 or something like that to do it, but it was well worth the money because it was a, uh, a fundraiser. And uh, Project 113, who you probably saw the video back in uh, December uh, when I was there, watching them fire up the steam locomotive down there. I believe they were involved in this too. So this worked. Pioneer Coal Mine and Project 113, they're all help each other out here and everything, which is truly uh, great and stuff. I don't know if they're going to be doing any more uh, hands on the throttle this year or not, but I do know there is going to be a night on the rails um, here at the coal mine and that's coming up in June and if you want to learn more about the Pioneer Coal Mine the uh, link to their website will be down at the bottom of the screen and in the description field so my thanks to everybody involved here people with Project 113 the Pioneer Coal Mine all the staff and everything for putting this on thank you so much it was a great experience for me and I thoroughly enjoyed it until next time it's have a ball and do it all we'll see you soon